Hey, Leanne Carswell with the Expert Real Estate Team. Thanks for watching. Boy, is it hot out there. If you are a home owner, the market is smoking hot. Um, I'm going to give you seven reasons you want to say no to going for sale by owner. Um, you may be thinking, yeah, I want to save the money, and I get that. But let's delve into some reasons why you might want to reconsider it. Reason number one, you may not want to go for sell by owner. So you put your home on the market and you start getting, you might stick it on Zillow, you start getting agents clamoring to see your home. Well, you have to be there to let them in, but you don't really want to be there because they need to have the freedom to look. Um, so, you know, do you have that ability? If you're working from home, maybe. But then do you have the kids hanging around and are you able to show it? Because what we have been finding in our business is from the time we put a property on the market and get you that mega exposure that we get you as realtors, you're going to start getting inundated with people wanting to look at your home. So it could be you've got to leave your home all day, two days, the whole weekend, so buyers can have a chance to come through and take a look. So then you've got to worry about are the showings overlapping and are they running late and there's just a whole host of issues to think about unless you've got type, some type of showing management system to go along with you putting your home up for sale by owner. Reason number two you may not want to do things for sale by owner are COVID and safety related. Back in the day, safety and for sale by owners was, you know, dealing with the bad guys out there or buyers who, you know, weren't pre-approved or had other things on their mind other than buying your house. Maybe it was scouting out your stuff in your house or your kids in your house. Um, you just never know these days. But also put behind that all the safety issues with COVID and people being masked up and having booties on their feet and touching things. And, and with having a realtor by their side, we can minimize a lot of that for you and make sure you and your family are safe. And at the end of the day, you know, what's saving a little bit of money, but making sure you're safe is more important. Reason number three, you may not want to go the for sale by owner route is multiple offers. Now I know that sounds perfect. Multiple offers is always a good thing, but managing multiple offers is the key to that. So what we routinely find is homeowners are overwhelmed by all of the activity in their home and all the offers that come in. So being able to put the pluses and minuses behind each one is where the listing agent really shines. And you know, there's some things that we can do to help with the negotiation process to help get you the best deal and get you the best terms. Um, so you may get a, an offer that's $30,000 over list price or over what you're asking. That sounds wonderful, but what if it has to appraise? What if it doesn't appraise? I mean, you're just, you've wasted all that time off the market. So those are things where a really good listing agent can help manage it when you get those multiple offers and make you more money in the end. Reason number four that you may not want to go it alone as a for sale by owner is accepting an offer is just the beginning. In the middle, when we're between contract to close is when realtors earn their money. So you've got your home inspections. We help manage what you do and don't have to do in those home inspections. Sometimes after the home inspections, buyers back out. You've got to start over. That's where we as realtors reach out to all the other offers that you had received to see who else is still in the ballpark who's who wants to play with you and bring another offer so there's a lot of things that listing agents can bring to the table should things go sideways which they sometimes can do because right now we've seen a lot of buyers i had a buyer call yesterday on the listing that told me hey i put an offer in on one yesterday but i wasn't really wild about it i think i got caught up in 
all the excitement and um, so I'm under contract now for this home I don't really like so chances are he's gonna back out and you don't want that happening to you so let us help you with that reason number five you may not want to go it alone if you're thinking about selling your home on your own there are problems that come up as you're going through the process so it's negotiating the repairs it's making sure the home appraises and what you do if it doesn't appraise do you have the data to support to give to the appraiser to say here's why i feel like it's worth what it's worth those are things a good realtor can help you do can you measure it and accurately tell the home buyer what you are selling for your correct square footage so making sure you are got all your I's dotted and T's crossed. Do you have your seller's disclosure? Do you have your lead paint disclosure? Do you have a flood disclosure? Those are all the minutia of things where we earn our money. So that is the fifth reason you may not want to sell by yourself. Reason number six, you may not want to sell by owner. Sometimes you can negotiate time for you to stay after closing, which is an ideal situation but sometimes there are post-occupancy issues. Um, sometimes the buyer's wanting in a little early and we kind of are there as the middleman to help guide all the parties through that, making sure that you now have renter's insurance because you don't own the home anymore, but you want to make sure your stuff is covered. So there's a lot of things that realtors bring to the table and make sure you're doing all the right things to keep you and your family protected. And number seven, the reason you may not want to go for sale by owner, at the end of the day, realtors net sellers on average 9% more than they do when you go it alone. So you may think you are saving money when in fact you're costing yourself money, plus you've got all the headache of dealing with other realtors, buyers who think they're pre-approved and they may not be, who think they are qualified and they may not be. That's what we help dig through. You can go about your day, about your life, go to work, go enjoy time with your family. We're here to take all the grief and all the, the problems that arise. So if you're thinking about it, have a conversation with the realtor, have a conversation with me. That's what I'm here for. If you decide to go for sale by owner, no problem, fine. There is no obligation, but a couple of things you may want to think about if you're thinking about doing a by owner. Thanks so much, and I hope this was a great resource for you. Make sure you check us out on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things, and hope to see you on the next video. Bye.